Welcome to the back nine of the final round of the 2018 Oklahoma Open. Um, we've got Eagle pulling ahead of everybody. Um, looks like he's ahead of Greg by four strokes. Hopefully we'll see some moves by uh, Greg and Chris here this round. Uh, my name is Gabriel Dow. I'm here with Bobby Cox. How's everyone going? Um, yeah, let's uh, check out this back nine. Hole 10 is um, a par 3, 335 foot. It's um, got a lot of trees down the fairway, a lot of overhanging branches that you want to avoid, so you really just want to throw something low and hard. Um, I think we'll. I think there's also a wide forehand line um, that looks like we're going to see Greg throw. He's, He's going kind in of, the middle with yeah. it. That's pretty much perfect. Yep. A little bit short, but he's inside circle. And Richard. That looks great. Oh, yeah. Yep. And that is perfect. Eagle, I'm assuming, is throwing a mid-range. A little bit, little bit of leakage yeah. to the right. A little bit left, but he's he's right there by the basket. Taylor going up the gut as well. Looks like that's fading back in pretty nicely. Oh, yeah. Yep. Nice shot by Taylor. We got Chris, Chris. going up the gut as well. His is gonna. Huh? Well, I'll still have a look at the basket. No one, no one hit any trees though. Yeah, that's surprising because uh, there's a lot of trees to hit. Well, I might have said that too soon. He's getting that through it. He was just under that branch, and that gets in your head on those putts. He's knocking down the birdie. Just continuing his great. Yeah. Getting golf. another stroke on Chris. See if Greg can uh, keep up here. Boom. And he can. Still four strokes back from Eagle. Still knocking in the birdie as well. It wasn't exactly dead center, but yeah. it's in there. It looked a little right there for a second, but I was gonna he got it in page, there. Honestly. Yeah. Richard did tap in his bird as well. And there's something about Greg's putts where like it doesn't matter where on the chains he hits, it usually drops in. Yeah. I don't know if it's like the angle it's coming down on or what. Yeah, he kinda has a little bit of a nose down putt as well. It yeah. just kinda falls into the basket as opposed to like directly hitting it flat. Right. Like some of these guys. And Chris is just gonna have to clean up the par there. Hole eleven is um a par three. Um Pretty wide open on the right side. The left side's got a lot of trees, so you're really just gonna see a big hyzer around all of this to get to the basket. But there is the bunker and a green that is OB um, just right at the basket. So that's something you wanna think about. Yeah, and this hole's short enough to where you can, you, you should be able to go all hyzer to the basket. You don't have to worry about your disc flipping up and riding flat. Just get some yeah. overstable and just crank on it wide. Yep, and that's perfect. He nearly caught the bunker there, but yeah. just ended it up in front of it, and uh, he's going to have a little short downhill look at the basket. Richard left his a little bit wide and is going to be found behind the bunker. Yeah, but I, think, I, I feel like he'll take that, though. You know? yeah. As long yeah. as you're safe yep. on this hole. Yeah, he'll have a little downhill look at the basket as well. Now, is he going for that inside gap, you think? Um, I think he might have sawed it off a little bit, but yeah. it ended up working for him, so can't complain there. Greg's taking a little bit lower of a line. And that looks... Oh, yeah. And that is perfect. And Chris is probably happy he's forced to throw the forehand the way he throws it. That, that yeah. <laughs> he's kept his real low. Hopefully that skips up. In it. He saw that off just a little bit, but he's still going to be about circle's edge. Yeah, he's still in a great spot. And Richard. Oh! oh! Just over the top. That's really the tricky thing about downhill putts is just getting the right height on it. Absolutely. And making sure you hit something so it doesn't go, you know, 60 feet past. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that's a great putt by Taylor. Just drops it right in. Oh, 
this. Leaving it just a little low. It's first real miss in a while. So much confidence on that putt. Yep. Greg is right behind him as well. well done. Everybody else tapping in for par. Man, this weather looks amazing. Yeah, it was it was awesome out there. Hole 12. This is a par three, 290 feet. Just super short, nothing in the way. There's OB to the left, which really isn't in your head on this short of a hole, but um, pretty much throwing anything from a putter turnover to a forehand like we see Eagle doing here. Yeah, that green just kind of narrows out towards the basket, so you yeah. really gotta be precise. Yep. And he's left his short. He's gonna be about circle's edge there. Maybe just inside, we'll see. Taylor, just a little short as well. This is right in Greg's wheelhouse. I'm expecting him to get real close on the shot. Yeah. Yeah, that's, yep. that, that's, that's real close. That is about <laughs> right. And make sure you guys go check us out on uh, Instagram and Facebook. Putting out new stuff every day, pretty much, so. That and look. Richard. OB. Yeah, he ended up wide there, and uh, it's not a bad spot to be. He's going to have a decent look for uh, his three. Now, is there a drop zone, or you just. Um, you just I think you just out. take it where it went okay. out. So okay. he's going to be right there, I believe. Okay. Oh, no. He went out a little bit earlier than I thought. Oh, mm. how, how many times can you get that close? Yeah. He's hitting on every every part of the basket this round. And that one wow. kind of sails a little bit out of his hand. Just high of the basket. And Taylor just <laughs> right. Taylor's been struggling a little bit this round. He's just trying to yeah. keep himself composed. Trying to find the putt. Here's Eagle for his comeback three. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit longer than he was expecting, but he drains that. And Greg with the bird. A little surprising to see only two birds on this short of a yeah. hole. But, um, and a bogey. Yeah. But, um, yeah. they can pick it up next hole um hole 13 is going to be a par 5 Huge. 1100 feet it Huge. is an absolute monster um you're right off the tee you're carrying over some uh, water it's a little pond and um you want to end up right here in the center of the fairway um the basket's right up here to the right so um if you can get in the middle you're gonna have um anything from a uh, forehand line to uh, turn over backhand or a roller um, but you do have to keep note that there is that bunker right there and um, I believe there's a green to the left as well so um, just got to keep an eye out for that so it's fading a little bit too much but it's it, it'll be all right you really can't mess up too much off, off, off this drive yeah as long as you get over the pond Which you're, these you're guys all right have plenty of D to do that unless he's a tree Oh no, that's way down there. Never mind. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the tree, the tree's way far okay, down there. It, so it, it, it if you're hitting like... that tree, then you're 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 good. And Eagle's trying to go big here. It looks like he's really trying to figure out what angle he's wanting to put this on. And that that, that that gets out of it. A little bit. That needs to come back. That's a and, great shot. Yep. He's gonna have decent positioning there. That is just way down That's the fairway. A, though. Yeah, yeah. He'll he'll have a nice little roller line actually towards the basket. And the and the rollers are so tempting on ball golf courses because mm -hmm. the grass is so short and they yep. just go a mile. Yep. They can get out of hand, but they can go a mile. Yeah, rollers go a lot better 
on ball golf courses for sure because there's not all the sticks. Yeah. That's a nice safe shot there. Here we got Richard. Richard is trying to make it. Oh, he might have turned it. Oh, no, he's good. Is he right? Yep. He might be a little bit right, so. Yeah, he still, yeah. Has, a, he still has a pretty good gap. Yeah. Could be better. If he was left, it'd be wide open, but. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure he's. And he's just going to lay up to the center of the fairway. Smart play. Yeah. Final round, he's not really in striking distance to take the lead or anything, but he's trying to take as much cash as, as possible. Um, so he's still in there. <laughs> Taylor just throwing it down the fairway as well. He's going to have an easy up and down there. And that stand's got to be in your head for that, for this next option. Yeah. The green. And Chris is throwing a big old turnover forehand. That needs to come back. And looks like he's done that. Greg. He's probably trying to get as close to that stain as possible without mm -hmm. going in it and then just pitching over. Let's see what Eagle has here. Yeah, he's kind of got an interesting lie. He's going to try and turn it over. See Man, that there is so eagle. far. And he skips right over there. And that's going to make a, a good angle to the basket with that with taking the sand out of the way. Mm -hmm. yeah, he's actually giving himself a putt for eagle there. Yeah. It's a long putt, but... Um, yeah, Richard looks a little... Richard cranks on this. Puts it a little bit deep. Yeah, you do have to be aware of the green. That's deep as well. But this is a this is a tough upshot right here because the basket's kind of on a hill. You got the bunker right there. You've got the OB on the right, and um, Ring it. this looks pretty perfect. Huh? A little bit deep. Hits the tree, but yeah, he's he's got to look. He stayed out of the bunker and stayed off the right side of the cart path. So that's all you can ask for on that upshot. Is this rhino? Is that purple rhino? I believe so. It's crazy how like high he throws those shots, mm -hmm. but he just trusts it to drop. Yep. Look at that. Too. And that's perfect. Yeah, this rhino's like Ricky's harp. Exactly. Yeah. It's a staple. That's the that's Yeah, and whenever you find a disc and you've and you've had it for like multiple years, you get so comfortable throwing it. Yeah. And you can pretty much throw it on any line at that point. You, mm -hmm. know? you just know exactly what it's going to do. I think that rhino is about there. That's great. And Richard just laying up, kind of giving it a half run. A little bit dangerous with the uh, bunker right behind the basket. Taylor's looking to make this. Short again. Been short again. It's, it's been short mm -hmm. all day. Eagle's kind of taking his time. Boom. Almost shorted it, but yes. pounced right, right off the top of the cage and right, right into the cage. chain, so... Man, this is Chris for Bird. That was a really good upshot. There you go. Oh. That's him at 29. Mm -hmm. Creeping up on Barsby. Yep. Greg with a great two. That was very cleanly played. Oh, yeah. Here with the par, which yeah. isn't bad, but... Uh, I along mean, with Taylor. You definitely want the birdie. Yeah. Especially with as wide open as that hole is. Exactly. Um... Hole 14 is um, a par four. Lots of those out here. It's 835 feet. Um, 
there's quite a bit of OB on this hole. You've got the uh, cart path carrying all the way down the left side. You've got water carrying all the way down the right side. And then you also have a green, which you need to avoid, and a couple bunkers right in the dead center of the fairway. So um, you really want to throw something um, hard and right. Maybe over stable, have it come back left. Um, looks like Greg might have sawed this off a little bit. Yep. Yep, and you want to get it a little bit wider than that, have it hang over that bunker and the green there so it'll end up right on the left side because there's an open lane there. Man, it looks like he slipped yeah. a little bit on, yep. on that shot. Looks like he saw this off as well, and he's going to be... Did he find OB there? I couldn't quite see. Yeah, well. And that's perfect. Now, I said it in the first round, or in the front nine, and I'm going to say it again. Huge thanks to Heather Wagle for putting this tournament on. She put so much work into this, and it just turned out absolutely amazing. Yep. She does a lot for the disc golf community. So, oh, so um, much. She's um, She just does great work with everything that she does. They hold weekly minis, which Kyle Gibson, shout out Kyle Gibson, has taken over. <laughs> but um, those are always fun. Richards put out a great shot here. That's just what you want carrying over that bunker. Oh, yeah. Chris with his bandana. Baker Mayfield action shout out. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good positioning. And Taylor ended up just short of the bunker. Test the limits. Put it out just a little wide. And he's going to be a little short of the basket. He's got a putt, though. Yeah, he'll probably jump at it. We got Greg. This is Greg. Who was lucky to hit that tree there and end up uh, in bounds? This needs to turn more, uh, and it doesn't. But he's still in bounds. He's going to be that tree in front of him got in his head a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. It's a pretty standard up shot. Um, I'm surprised he didn't go forehand, honestly. Man, put a ton of money on this. Yeah, that'll work. Yep. He just left a little forehand up. Eagle's he so mashed his drive. He's so good at these forehand up shots, too. Yeah, he's... Oh, ooh, slow down. A little deep. He's he's going to have a really far putt. Um, Not too far. He's, he's about, I'd say, like 35. Oh, really? Because right behind the basket, yeah, it, it looks a little bit further on the camera but oh. it's actually not not too bad now it's fantastic here's Greg to try and sink a bird oh mm. see if Rich can hit some metal like he's been doing mm. just in front of the basket Soared over. That's pretty far. Yeah, he's for, he's further than thirty five for sure. But and yeah, didn't fully commit to that. Maybe he yeah. had some branches in the way. Yeah, I think he was trying to run that. He just kind of released it a little bit early. And that seems to happen with like far straddle putts. Yeah, you can't really get as much weight transfer into those. It's hard to get your legs into it. That was a good putt by Chris.
Richard saving the car as well. I think we've got a star par here. It looks like. And yeah, that's that's expected on this hole, cause uh, I mean, 835 foot par four with lots of OB. Um, I mean, you're you're getting a stroke on the field with a birdie on that one. All right, hole 15 is uh, par three, 350 feet. Um, pretty much, these guys are gonna be throwing big sky hyzers towards the basket. There is a bunker on the right side. It's probably about 40 feet right of the basket that you want to avoid, but. Um, yeah. Greg's lining up the hyzer just over that bunker. I'm sure it's nice playing a little short. And that is perfect. I'm sure it's nice playing a little shorty after those long bomber holes. Yeah. Change it up a little bit. Throw a disc in your bag that was getting a little bit dusty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eagle puts oh, yeah. it right there as well. I'm sure Taylor's gonna do the big forehand or uh, big hazard as well. Yep. There's not really any other line. No, there's really. <laughs> really. And he's a little bit short and right, or no? Maybe he's pin high right. Yeah, I think he's about pin high. He's got a little bit of a downhill putt. Richard gets it super wide. Not quite enough power Ooh. on it, but... Yeah, just caught that tree before the basket. It had a perfect line. And Chris with that forehand. He that had to play so baseball bad. back in his day. Yeah. And he's going he went a deep. little deep. But he's still got a putt at it. A little downhill. He's right there with uh, Taylor. Oh, oh, you gotta go in. Yeah, just needed that a couple inches higher. Every time. He's so close. And Chris needs this. Oh. <sighs> and just off the cage as well. Painful. Yep. Yeah, you don't like taking a three on this one. No, especially like down the stretch, you're really just trying to. Yeah, you got three holes left. The galleries is getting bigger and bigger. I'm trying to show off a little left bit. There. And Eagle just continuing the slaughter. Yeah, same old, same old. Yep. He's holding those three strokes on Greg. He is not budging one bit. No. These other guys are just going to be tapping in for pars. And if you guys are ever uh, in the Tulsa area, you really need to check out Mohawk Park. we got three disc golf courses, the zoo, a couple ball golf courses, and it's pretty amazing out here. Yeah, it's it's a great, great course. Definitely check it out. Um, hole 16, we've got a par 3. It's 390 feet. Um, initially carries over a little pond, but um, this is a pretty easy hole for these guys. You pretty much throw, you can throw a forehand, backhand, straight shot straight towards the basket um whatever you're comfortable with but uh as long as you get right there and you don't don't go long onto the green um you're sitting pretty good Greg, and it's a little bit farther hand. than it looks yep so you really gotta put a put a move yep. on it but and greg kind of scares the green there almost skips up to it around. but yeah he's gonna be left with an outside the circle putt And I can't imagine Eagle not being in the circle after this shot. That Goes up a on. little bit wider than Greg, but that's looking good. Oh yeah, yep, and he bounces oh. right up. And okay, he's right down the hill. He'll have a little bit of an uphill putt, but he's he's not too worried about that. And Taylor's gonna take that backhand line. It's really just a preference. On yeah. This hole. Yeah, it's pretty wide open. A little bit low, but it's getting a massive skip out of it. Yeah. 
he's still going to be short Quite left with short. probably about 45 50. Oh, oh yeah richard has Look at that just one. put a great move on this one boom that's nice right up shot. there by the basket he's gonna have a nice little inside the circle putt Chris, that needs to come back a little more. That's perfect. And that's fine, great. Then. Paler. It's like right into the sun. Mm hmm. Ugh. <sighs> just, just left it short. Every time. Yep. Just needs to put a little bit more on it. And clearly he was hitting them the other two uh, rounds because yeah. he wouldn't be on Lee Card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Greg's needs this putt. Really oh. bad. Oh, and he just spits out on the pro, pro side. side. If, oh. And Eagle with the bird. I think it's just going great for Eagle right now. Yeah, he now has four strokes on Greg going into the last two holes. And uh, he's he's not too worried about that. And Chris with... Chris missing that. Yeah, he's had a pretty good putter this round and uh, just left that one short. Maybe the little elevation messed him up. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. That was a great bird by Richard. Just put it right up there. And Greg is not pleased with his par. No. He's in just full attack mode right now. Yeah. Um, Chris with the unfortunate par as well. But um, hole 17 is a par 3. This is a little shorty, so we might get to see some ace runs. It's pretty much right there. It's an island hole. Oh, wow. It's um, right there. There's OB all around it. And, um, I mean, it's pretty much just a putter upshot right up to this stick. little green i imagine they're all th going either putter mid-range you don't want any drivers yeah. on this hole definitely not you don't want too much of a skip and eagle just kind of left that one out wide hopefully that swings back what and oh it barely my God. squeaks in uh, oh. i can't imagine how nervous he was during that yeah. flight Good shot there. Yeah, I thought that was, was gonna crazy. be a little sketchy. But yeah, it ended up a little. Good. Yeah, that definitely could have easily skipped OB, but uh, oh, he had the right soft. angle on it. Yeah, oh, he's going backhand. Never mind. And Greg really needs to ace this one. He wants to have any chance of catching Eagle on this next hole. And he oh. left it a little bit left. It Great looked shot, like, though. but you know, have an easy bird there. God, how epic would have a ace would have been right there. Oh, man. That have been so clutch. <laughs> Put him two strokes back behind Eagle on a par four. And that's a good shot from Taylor. Eagle trying to salvage the bird from the near OB. That was a scary putt. Yeah, definitely a scary putt because there is a roll off behind the basket. Towards the water. Oh, and he left it just left. Looks like it settled, though, behind the basket. And Richard only about 20 out. Knocks it right in. That puts him at 22 down. Mm -hmm. And Richard and Taylor are really just in a fight for third. Oh, and oh. Taylor missed. That is surprising. His putter hasn't been that's feeling be, too good. That's got to be so frustrating. Yeah. You finally get a, a decent amount of chains, and it, it still won't stay in. Yeah. That's just how some rounds go. And Greg with the bird. Greg making up for that last hole. Yep. Gets one He's on Eagle. He's still going to be four strokes back. From, no, or yeah. three strokes back yeah. from Eagle. Going into this last hole. But you never know what these guys on the other cards are doing behind them. You know? Yeah. You still yeah. got to... Yep. Foot on the gas yep. and just try to do as good as you can. A lot of good golfers behind them. So, yeah. Um, right here, this is the final hole, hole 18. It is a par 5, 1,100 feet. Um, the tee box kind of starts on some elevation. You're throwing down towards this fairway. So, really, you can get a roller down really nicely. Um, you can throw anything you're comfortable with as long as you get into the center of the fairway. 
And then the upshot is pretty treacherous because right in front of this, you have the green, which is OB, and then behind the basket is the cart path, wow, which is OB. Wow, that is really close um, to the basket. And then also um, in front of the basket, there's a hill, which you can't really see from the camera angle that um, kind of rolls down towards the green. So you really want to get it just perfect up there. And Richards turned this over just a little bit. Yeah, and he did that last time on the on the 1100 foot hole, I believe. Yeah, or, yeah or one of the bomber holes. Yeah, he's he's gonna be a lot shorter than he wanted to be. And I'm curious if Greg's going roller or if he's just gonna try the air shot. Whatever he's doing, he's gonna try to show off a little bit, <laughs> as he should. Yeah, that's, that's that's turning too much too, isn't it? Yeah, it needs to come back. If that comes back. No, that's not too bad. Okay, he's going to be okay. a little bit more right than he wanted for sure, but uh, he's, he's not completely disappointed in that. Oh. That just looks beautiful. Yeah, Chris just put a really good move on that one. That's, and that's dead center fairway. That's, that's right where morning. you want to be. And Eagle... Lining up a roller. There we go. And this is looking perfect. Oh, and it doesn't stand up, it's though, and he right. finds the OB. Wow. But that is way up there. He's going to have, um, let's say, about 400, yep. 450 yeah, feet left up to the okay. basket. But that upshot, again, is not easy at all. So we'll see what he can do from there. If awesome, I just laid up. Here we got Richard Y. So he's going to roll her as well. Oh, yeah. And that looks like it's got a good angle on it. Good. Just needs to climb that hill a little bit. Stay off the green. Which. No, off the green, oh, not on the green. Man. And he has just hit the green. That's okay. Dead center. He's going to have to take that from behind the green. And, I mean, Richard really couldn't control a whole lot of that. I mean, he, yeah. he put a great move on that roller, really? and it just happened to keep going a little bit too far. Mm -hmm. And it's hard to have the rollers was... stand up when they kind of lose velocity oh, going on that sure. uphill. So he did what he could. Yeah. Just ended up with a little bit of a bad break. Greg just laying one on. Oh, he went for the air shot. Or was, yep. that for, was that a thrower? Uh, I'm Turned not sure what he was trying to Yeah, it was probably a thrower. Yeah, probably yeah. meant to air it out a little bit higher. An eagle from the OB. Going over the Gets on it. golf green. And wow. What? That is a fantastic drive so from that where would he was. Be a drop in eagle if he didn't go to B. Yeah. That's so he, um Yeah, that's that is a perfect upshot. He wasn't scared of anything. I mean there was there's so much to be scared of on the screen. He just put it about twenty five feet out. Putting on a show. I'm sure the fans don't hate it. Yep. Man, Richard's right up there. I'll be able to see if his paw or no, that's that was Taylor. That was Taylor. <laughs> yep, he's right there. And this is Eagle from for Birdie after the OB stroke. For the win, technically. Well, not for the win because he's three strokes ahead of Greg. Well, he technically is still for the win. What? But, man, that just an awesome tournament from Eagle. Starting off hot at Red Hawk and... Um, oh, wow. Oh, man. And that was just a brutal spit out because that was a great 18th, putt. On the 18th hole, too. Yeah. But um, yeah. yeah, I mean, Eagle just played insane golf all yeah. week. Stay, stay in the fairways at Blackhawk. Yep. Bombed the birdie holes mm -hmm. at Redhawk and just did his thing this round. Yep. Yeah, this this round, I believe he shot a ten sixty seven rated round, Jeez. and that's with missing the two easiest holes. And yeah, big shout out to Eagle. Um, he played a great tournament, and thank you for all the big pros that came out. It was the biggest turnout of the Oklahoma Open thus far so um, just some really good numbers and uh, thank you guys for watching 
Yeah, we, make sure you uh, like and subscribe. Yep. Uh, you can check us out on Instagram and Facebook, and we'll see you guys soon. Yep. Don't forget to hit that notification bell either.